We actually have a very special little skincare cohort. A little something something is happening. And if you'd like to be the first to know about that, can I f everything up? Can I tell you a little secret that I'm not supposed to share with you? The best K-Beauty for under $30. Budget friendly, medical esthetician approved, and I have the absolute best K-Beauty products for under $30 that money can buy. As your resident medical esthetician, I have tried so many different products, including many different K-Beauty products, most of which usually lend themselves to more hydrating and glowy skincare routines. But out of everything that's out there, which ones are the least expensive, the most effective, and which ones have a place on my skincare shelf and in my heart? Well, I am going to break down the top ones for you. And I also have a little exciting announcement. I don't know if this is exciting to anyone other than me, but I'm going to Korea to literally go to the areas that some of these ingredients are sourced. For example, like Jeju Island, to look at aloe vera and to look at onion farms, to actually see how this stuff works behind the scenes. This video is also kind of like a milestone talking about my current favorite K-beauty products. I wanna see if I come across or discover anything that is better than what I currently know of. So as of today, as of summer 2020, these are my top picks. We can reference this in the future and see if it changes. <laughs> Excuse me. That'll never change anyways. Now, while all of these products are under $30, the best part is that some of them, most of them are under 20 and even under 10 on Stylevana. Stylevana is working with us on this video and they are one of my favorite K-beauty retailers because you can literally find prices for cheaper than anywhere else. If you want to save money on K-beauty and get it shipped internationally, Stylevana is the place to go. Now, there is a caveat because sometimes the shipping can take a little bit longer if you don't pay for like expedited shipping. It can take a little while, but let me tell you, it is worth the wait. Specifically, these products. And let's actually start off with this one that kind of started it all. This was one of the first products I ever came across on Stylevana. And this one is the Hamish All Clean Balm. I actually don't know if it's Hamish, 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 Clean and Comfortable Beauty Intensive Cleansing Balm. This formula is fantastic. It melts sunscreen and makeup off my face. It literally feels like a memory foam cushion. And I love a little container of this. You have a little opening and I don't know if you can see, my spoon kind of got stuck at the bottom, but it has its own little spoon and this allows you to dip into the product and then easily close it back up. Now, you could screw this top off altogether if you really want to, but this is one of the funnest skincare design things that I've come across in quite a while. And also, does this not look like a dermatology student's Pinterest board or like notebook, like journal cover? I swear, this is just adorable and it feels so good on my skin. This is one of the most effective K-beauty cleansing balms that I've ever tried. It does have a little bit of fragrance, so if you're super sensitive, be aware, but I don't hate fragrance. And this rinses off so it doesn't irritate my skin. It smells like... Man, I never know how to describe this. It smells like you're running through a field of daffodils and daisies and butterflies. It is so nice. It is so springy. And of course, it's vegan and cruelty free. And the best part is the price. You can literally get this for under $10. Again, it's style of on. It's like $8.51 right now. Depending on when you look at the website, sometimes the prices change. But this is the best price I've ever seen it online, especially because normally it's 20 bucks plus. Now, while this is fantastic for dry skin or as a first cleanse in your double cleanse, I have oily skin, so I always need to follow it up with something else. There are two other K-Beauty cleansers that I'm obsessed with, and this first one is from CauseRx. This is simple, this is basic, this is oily skin friendly, but this is the low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. Low pHs in skin are more acidic, and this is great if you want products to penetrate or if you do tend to have a lot of gunk on your face. Now, this one is not overly stripping, but this one is definitely less hydrating than some of the others out there. And as you can see, it goes on a clear gel and then it kind of emulsifies into more of a soap. It is fragrance free. It is simple. And again, it's under $10. Look at how large this is. If you want big bottle with little price, this is the answer. And I love this for someone who's oily or combination or for people who really like to layer things in their skincare routine. A lot of K-beauty routines have like 30 steps and quite often they're really into layering. That's not something that I can commit to every day. And that's not always something that I recommend for other people just from a use case perspective. But especially if you're going to be putting on like the seven skin or the four skin, method, which don't take it that way, you nasty. The foreskin method is literally putting on four layers of toner on your skin. Don't ask me, ask James Welsh. He tried it and beauty trends in Korea started it. So don't blame me. 
for the name, but just know that if you're layering four or seven or more products one on one, you need a cleanser that's going to support that process. And this one really does cleanse and prep the skin to absorb everything that you put on after it. Now, if you are looking for something a little bit more gentle and you love bubble cleansers, this is one of the best. A lot of people don't recommend foaming cleansers because they can be stripping to the skin. There are sulfates in certain cleansers, which are not bad things, but some people avoid them and don't like them. If you're worried about overly stripping your skin, if you're sensitive or you just don't want to have the bubble cleansers, but you love bubbles, this is one of the best. This is from iUnique and this is the Centella Bubble Cleansing Foam. This is so gentle. Its base is Centella Asiatica, AKA Gota Cola. It's basically this amazing antioxidant. It helps with redness and with wound healing. And do you see the unique pump? Because of the way this pump is formulated, the product itself is not full of sulfates. Like the product itself is not going to bubble and foam up. But this pump literally introduces air into the formula and that's what causes it to floof up. And it is this very gentle, bouncy, flouncy, froofy, fun, 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 fun. The best thing about Tiggers is that Tigger is the only one, and this has nothing to do with Tiggers, but it has everything to do with Centella, which in a cleanser, I absolutely love. This is pH balanced, so it's really great for sensitive skin. And if you're looking for something that's gentle, but cleansing, this is beautiful. And then it does have that Centella. It's also got tea tree, which is antibacterial and antimicrobial, and it's got licorice, which can be really good for redness and pigmentation. And so all together, it's just a very good, gentle cleansing foam that supports a healthy skin barrier. This is like the most K-Beauty cleanser that I've ever tried, just because K-Beauty embodies so many of these same things of being gentle and soft and simple, but effective. This one from iUnique is absolutely wonderful. Now, what is K-Beauty really known for? Toners and essences, and these are some of the best. I have tried so many, and hands down, I genuinely don't think these can be beat. Let's start with one of my favorites, which is the Haru Haru Toner. This one is the Black Rice and Hyaluronic Toner, and this reminds me of kombucha for your face. They have a version that has lavender, which can be a little bit tingly, just like fermented kombucha when you are ingesting it. But this one actually is a fragrance-free version. They literally launched a fragrance-free option, and this is amazing. Okay, ready, look at it. You see how it's gelatinous and beautiful? Watch. Do you see how it turns into skincare kombucha? I love this so much. The black rice in here is an amazing antioxidant. This goes so well underneath your sunscreen. If you're really oily and you're just looking for a little bit of hydration and a little boost under your sunscreen, you could use this instead of a moisturizer. Or if you're dry, you can layer this along with other toners or serums to give your skin a boost of hydration. The black rice in here is not only used in Korean cooking, which is delicious if you've never had dulso bibimbap with black or purple rice, Mwah! so good I get it without the egg because I'm a veggie. But this with the black rice in it is so good and hydrating for the skin. And it's just such a fun little bottle to use. When I think of K-Beauty, I don't think of luxury the way I do in Japanese skincare. I'm sure we all know SK2's Patera Essence. You know what I'm going to talk about, right? <laughs> this is from Jin Jong Sung, and this is my luxury skin swap for the SK2. This K-Beauty bottle, first of all, look at how beautiful this is. This is a glass package. It is a beautiful, hydrating, skin supportive essence. And this from ENS Beauty, is literally a less expensive version than the SK2. Now, it's not exact. I actually find that this is more of a gelatinous, kind of a viscous formula. But if you're looking for hydration and if you want that luxury skincare feel for yourself, or holy if you're trying to get a gift for someone else, this is the best way. Also, look at how beautiful this bottle is. I don't buy things just based on the packaging. The product has to work too. But when it has great ingredients, when it matches my morals and values, and when the package is pretty, ah, it's like a match made in heaven. This through and through is is like the essence of K-beauty and it's what I consider K-beauty luxury. And again, please don't tell them this. If they raised this to like $100, I would still pay $100 for this. Do not tell them that because I do not want them to raise the price. But in 10 SK2, 104987765309, they're out here charging 200 bucks for this? I, I'm never, I wouldn't even consider that when I know that this exists. This has hyaluronic acid, beta-glucans, ceramides, collagen peptides. This has everything. Literally, it has everything that you would want in a good moisturizer. And it's very rare to find ceramides in a really nice essence -y type of formula, but oh, this is it. And it's under $30. <laughs> it's like, it's to the point that I lose English. I lose all of the language, the words, it's just happy. Now, if you're looking for something that gives you a similar result, but is even less expensive and even just more soothing, you know we've got to talk about the Pyongkang Yule. This was literally the first K-Beauty essence that I ever tried. One of our beautiful butterflies, who's a doctor from Prague, her name is Shenny. She was telling me on our Discord and Patreon, she's like, Cass, you need to try this essence. I think you're going to love it. And holy this has been repurchased by me by what? Probably 
probably six or seven times. I love this and I use it on my face, but I can also put it on my chest, my back, my body because it's so inexpensive. I have purchased this off of places like Amazon and other K-beauty retailers. Stylevana again has the best prices. I would say that Amazon has faster shipping though. So it depends on how much you need it and how much you've run out of it. But this is basically like a little grape jelly on your face. Do you see how thick it is? It doesn't feel overly suffocating on the face. It feels so beautiful and gelatinous on the skin. Do you see how it's like a thick toner? It is absolutely gorgeous. And the ingredients in here are fragrance free and so simple. The first ingredient in here is Aspergillus membranaceous root extract. It is fermented and beautiful, but this also has arginine in it. Arginine is an amino acid and it is phenomenal. There have been medical studies looking at argireline and it's been shown to increase VEGF, vasal endothelial growth factor, basically helping your skin create new and healthy blood cells, which bring nutrients to the rest of your skin. This is absolutely such a beautiful essence. It is so lightweight and nice on the skin. I also just realized that I applied this over my sunscreen, but if you are looking for a refresher throughout the day, this is a great option. This is one of my favorite. You get 200 milliliters, so you get a large amount and you can literally find this on Stylebana for under 16. Now, if you're looking for an essence that is just pure hydration with a couple of antioxidant boosts, Purito has got something for you. This right here is the Centella Green Level Calming Toner. And this was again, one of the first K-Beauty toners and essences that I tried. I think it was Hiram that got me hooked on this one. This right here is a little bit less viscous than the Pyongyang Yule, but it has more ingredients such as Centella and such as Panthenol, which is also vitamin B5. This is definitely a much more calming moisturizer. So if you're struggling with redness or with irritation, this is going to be the best bet for you. And they also state the pH, the power of hydrogen or potential hydrogen, which is a 5.5. Our skin usually hangs out at around a 5.5. So this is perfect because it matches and mimics what our skin likes to hang out at naturally. And as you can see, look at how it's like, what's the word globular? <laughs> I love this so much when I'm not throwing it on my floor. I threw it on the ground. When it comes to sprays, I rarely see them in K-Beauty, but this is one of them. This is the, I think it's pronounced T-Am. I tried this like two or three years ago. I've used it on and off since then, and I still don't know how to pronounce it. But this is the Vita B3 Mist Toner, and this has actually gone through multiple renditions. They used to have a little glass package, and it was like in a serum. They have a serum and the toner. I love this spray. If you're looking for niacinamide in a spray bottle, this is its final form. This is mwah, beautiful. Yes, I'm just making out with my skincare. Is that weird? I hope not, but I don't know. The comments are there to roast me. We'll find out. This has vitamin B3, which is also known as niacinamide at 3%, but this also has tranexamic acid and vitamin C. So this is overall such a brightening toner. And yes, because it's in a little spray bottle, you can even reach the back. Speaking of back, look at how cute my little backless dress is. It has a little bow, even though I am breaking out, it is adorable. But if you struggle with pigmentation, if you struggle with unevenness in your skin, this is a fantastic KB option that is gentle. This is not like a 35% vitamin C that's gonna soak into your skin and bam, bam, thank you ma'am, take care of stuff. It's not like a 20% niacinamide that's gonna get all gummy and chalky, but you know, do a doozy to those pores. But at the same time, this is kind of what I expect from K-Beauty. Great actives at a low enough amount that they're still effective if you use them over time but they're gentle so they don't disrupt the skin. This entire TM brand has a couple of goodies, but this toner is one that I keep coming back to and especially because of its new packaging. When you say make it make sense, this is making it make sense. One other thing that's like $3 if you really wanna get K-Beauty with it are these little cotton pads. These are the one third cotton pads from Pyongyang Yule and I love these. Apparently it's a very Korean thing to soak these in your essence or toner and press them to the skin. Let me show you how, cause for fuck's sake, why not? And while I have been told that this is a really common thing that people People do. I actually want to see and ask the people that I'm meeting up with in Korea if this is actually a regular thing. I have loved this. It's a great way to add hydration to specific areas of the face or just give yourself a little spa day. You could also use these little one third pads to like remove makeup or do anything that you would want to do with a cotton pad. But these little cotton pads are so much fun. And this is just my way of doing a DIY spa day. And this entire little pack is $3 and 90 something cents. Three bucks, 160 of them. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, inflation? Inflation's got nothing on this. Now this is something I bet you never thought that I would talk about, baby. And hear my words carefully. This is something that I bet you thought. I would never talk about. You know that I hate eye creams and I think they are overpriced moisturizers. But we've also done a video years ago on the select eye creams that I actually think are worth the money. And this right here, 
is one of them. This right here is from Purito, and yes, this is the Centella Green Level Eye Cream, and while you could use this under your eyes, I do like this all over my face. This is an amazing moisturizer. I use it on my smile lines, I use it underneath my eyes, I even use it on my eyelids at times, and for people who come to me and say, Cass, I know that eye creams are overpriced moisturizers, but I still want one. This is one of the first that I go to recommend. This eye cream reminds me of a cream moisturizer version of the Centella Green Level Calming Toner. It has some of the same ingredients like Centella, but it's also got metacasic acid as well as a palmitto peptide mix. These are so great for the skin. They are so hydrating and nourishing. And while I do use and recommend this all over the face, you can absolutely use this as an eye cream. And because of the price and the amount that you're getting, look at this, you're getting an entire tube. Like you're getting a good amount. And I actually just shoved a good amount on top of my eyelids. But this is something that you can use on the eyes. You can use it under the eyes. It's relatively non-irritating. Of course, always patch test first. But if you're looking for hydration, for fine lines and wrinkles, and just eye support, like a cream that you can use that is a lighter texture than a thicker moisturizer that you can put under makeup, this is it. Purito has really done well for themselves with this one. And yeah, it's an eye cream that I can actually recommend. Another beauty item that I don't always talk about because it's hard to find good ones are lip balms, but holy is this a good one? If you want a lip balm that is fragrance-free, hydrating, actually nourishes your lips instead of making them feel drier or crustier when you don't use it, it's this one. This is the Toradin Solid In Lip Essence. I don't know what solid in means, but this is so good. This right here has ceramides, it has petrolatum, it's fragrance-free, and it literally gives your lips exactly what they need, as well as a little bit of hydration. And this actually fixes your lips so that your lips don't feel like they're becoming dependent on it, and it actually nourishes you for the long run. This also has jojoba, which is one of my favorite ingredients. And um, if you're the type of person who loves long distance relationships, it's like giving a healthy hydrated smooch across the seas from where I live in California to Korea. I cannot wait to bring this in my suitcase and see how my lips fare in Korean weather versus San Francisco weather. But holy sh if you're looking for an inexpensive but effective lip balm like that actually works and doesn't make your lips and face feel worse, this is your ticket to happy, healthy lips and a good looking smile that doesn't like crack and bleed when you smile. If you have dry lips, you know what I'm talking about. Now, when it comes to K-Beauty options, they have some very special serums, but I feel like there are three that stand above the rest. Fun fact, did you know that Stylevana actually has the Ordinary as well? If you live internationally and you can't get the Ordinary in your country, they have some Ordinary products and they're usually at better prices than elsewhere that I find on international retailers, so I wanted to point that out because I love the Ordinary, even though technically this is a Canadian brand, not a K-Beauty brand, just saying. When it comes to three of the best serums I've got you covered, this first one is from V-Green, and this is one of the best K-Beauty serums I've ever used. This is Vegan Snail Mucin. Yeah, the snail goo that people have been putting on their face because some people say that it's hydrating and it's wound healing and it's good for acne. This is a vegan version from Yams. All of the hydration, all of the same main ingredients that support the skin with zero cruelty. Again, there are some K-Beauty brands out there that say snail mucin isn't mean to the snails, like we wanna keep them alive so they can give us secretions and we put it on our face. But then I've kind of looked into it and seen some people like electrocuting the snails to get their happy secretions. And then other people put them in like a wash machine and like some of them get killed when they're coming out. I don't know, I'm going to Korea. I'm gonna try to like sneak into a snail farm and see what the f is going on. But until then, I am using yam based snails. Again, V Green is such a great brand. They have a lot of great fragrance free options. This is one of the most hydrating and skin reparative serums that literally has all of the benefits of snail mucin without the cruelty factor or without the potential ick factor. Now, when it comes to K-Beauty, it's hard to find a light, stable, non-irritating vitamin C, but Jumiso has done it. This is one of my favorite K-Beauty vitamin C serums. This is the all day brightening serum from Jumiso. And yes, it's vitamin C, but this also has niacinamide, it has licorice, it has panthenol, etc. If you're looking for a very gentle brightening serum, this is going to be your bestie. This is also so fun to apply. It has like these little bubbles in it. And again, it's just a very gelatinous texture that absorbs into the skin so well. And if you're someone who's always irritated by vitamin C serums and they kind of irritate your skin or make it sting a little bit, I think you're going to love this. One of the most gentle but effective vitamin C infused products that I know of. I apply way too much of this. Like, look, I'm putting it on my elbow now because I've covered my face in serums. But Jumiso has really done it right. Now they do have some new vitamin C 
Pixies. I think they literally just launched a set. If you want me to buy and try that so that you don't have to, let me know. But for now, I've had this on my face, on my skincare shelf, and on my list of top K-Beauty products for years. And yes, it is under $30. This is a little bit higher. It can be like 25, 26. But again, on Stylevana, you can get it on sale for 15 to $18. So good. And what would a best of K-Beauty lineup be if we didn't have an ampule? This is one of the best Centella products that I have ever tried. There's actually some really good ones from Mixoon as well, which we should probably talk about, but those are relatively new to me. This one has stood the test of time. This is from Skin1004, and this is a K-Beauty brand that sources their Centella from Madagascar. This is so good, and I'm not always a sucker for the packaging, but with this packaging, it's literally like National Geographic. Like, look at it. <laughs> On the opposite side of the label, they have these beautiful nature images, and it just transports me into another dimension as the products transform my skin cells into other dimensions. This ampule is 100% Centella Asiatica extracted. It's just 100% Gota Cola. If you want the pure stuff, this is it. Again, recently I've been trying Mixoon's products. They also have a 100% pure Centella product. Theirs is a toner, so it's very light, and I feel like it did evaporate off my skin a little too quickly. But this one, she is thick, she is chonky. I think that they probably have this one evaporate more of the liquid from the distillation or the extraction process. But holy sh if you just want Centella for the antioxidant, for the skin healing, for the anti-redness and soothing properties, this is probably one of your best bets. And it looks like National Geographic on your countertop. I love Skin1004. They also have some great sunscreens, but this one is at the tippy top of my list. And you know that after our serums, we gotta apply some moisturizers. I have some absolute favorites that are absolute K-Beauty loves. And a lot of these K-Beauty moisturizers are better than even non-K-Beauty moisturizers. Like Korea is doing something right with their formulation. This right here is the Good All Apricot Collagen Cream, and this is so great because it's vegan collagen, meaning it's peptides that can actually penetrate into the skin. And this is such a lightweight, beautiful, fluffy moisturizer. I'm actually, I'm gonna take these off so that I can apply this collagen cream. If you are looking for glazed donut skin, this is also a must have. And fun fact, I actually looked at a lot of Kim K's skin products. This is literally a like 25 to $30 dupe for one of Kim K's like $90 products products. This is so good. The ingredients are so similar and the apricot in here is not apricot seeds like St. Ives scrub or something like that, but it's literally the hydrating, nourishing, plump pulp of apricots and all of the vitamin C and benefits that they provide. This cream is so soothing and so beautiful. And again, if you're looking for Kim K skin dupe or Hailey Bieber road beauty glazed donut skin, this would be my top recommendation. I don't know how K-Beauty does it or kind of what they've been doing, but again, it's the youth firming cream. And again, it's not Botox in a bottle, but I definitely feel firm after I use it. And I just feel so hydrated. Like, look at me. Am I glowing? Am I beautiful? Am I pretty? Please tell me I'm pretty. I just want your validation. Thank you. Another one that is fantastic, especially for those who are a little bit more sensitive, is from CauseRx. This is great if your skin is sensitive or if you're price sensitive. This is the Comfort Ceramide Cream, and it is what it says. It's basically ceramides. Now, they do have other ingredients like Centella in here. They have some other oils like sunflower and palm oil, which are fine for the skin. But this is a very basic, yet very, very hydrating and skin supporting ceramide cream. Fragrance free, much more chonky. It's a little bit more of a hybrid between like an ointment and a moisturizer, but this is such a beautiful formula. And if you're someone who's really, really, really dry, you're going to love this. For my skin, that's a little bit more oily. Again, I love the apricot one, but if you're dry, again, you could layer this over another moisturizer or you could use this on its own. Cosrx really did a great job with this. And to find ceramides in such big tube at such little price, mind blowing. I love this one. Another fan favorite is from Purito. Again, I know they had a sunscreen scandal, but I don't judge people or brands based on the infractions or the issues. I judge them based on how they fix the problem or how they commit to change. And Purito, we gotta do some sort of review on Purito's new sunscreen, because babe, they are making a comeback. They refunded customers. They took care of things in my book. And if you don't know what we're talking about, there's literally a video on it. I'll link it here and here for you. But this right here is the Deep Sea Pure Water Cream. And if you are looking for something hydrating, something niacinamide filled, something with deep hydration, panthenol, and hyaluronic acid, this is it. Now, when I was first using this, I was kind of thinking to myself, like, what is deep sea water? Like, is that just a stupid term? Like, what, are you getting water from the deep sea? Like, how is this any different from tap water? It is actually water from the deep sea. <laughs> they literally take water from a deeper area of the ocean, and it's actually a little bit thicker and a little bit saltier, which I was very interested to find out about. And apparently that is really hydrating for the skin. And I will say, this does have such a good, almost like a marine 
marine hydration feel to it. This really does make my skin feel like after I've gotten out of the ocean, for those who don't know, I love to swim in the ocean. And um, when you swim in the ocean, there's seaweed and there's salt, and then like the sand kind of exfoliates you, like if you're tumbling in the waves. The salt can sting your eyes if you're not careful, but overall my skin and my naturally curly hair just feels so good when I get out of the ocean water. And this is like a hydrated version of what the ocean does, only it is in a handy little K-Beauty cream. I love this. I'm a little bit more oily, so I use this as like a night sleeping pack, but for people who are more dry, you could totally use this during the day. But how can we speak about night sleeping packs if we don't speak about a specific night sleeping pack? If you're not looking for those B vitamins or that hyaluronic acid, this is thick. This is thick, thickums thick, but this is nice. And it's also from Purito. This is the Ceramide Sika Barrier Sleeping Pack with squalene and panthenol. And this is an even more hydrating, more moisturizing version of this. I would say it's a little bit closer to the CauseRx cream. It is a little bit more like an ointment in the field, but it goes on more lightweight, like a moisturizer, even though it gives you that like, I don't want to say saran wrap, but kind of like that saran wrap, like it holds everything into and on the skin. Again, for me every day, oily, I can't just wear this out and go, but for nighttime use or for times that I'm really, really, really dry, this is a favorite. The ceramides in these are so hydrating and so skin supportive. And I would say that these are both two of the best ceramide K-Beauty products out there. Again, the main difference is that this one is thicker and kind of feels like an ointment. This one feels more lightweight, but still gives you that really moisture locked in feeling. But what if you are looking for something a little lightweight? Unlike those fragrance free options, you want something that smells good. Or what if you want to get your hands on K-Beauty, but you don't want to spend a ton of money? Again, Stylevon is like the only place that I know that has skincare that's under $5. And this right here from Frudia is an absolute favorite. This is a pomegranate cream. And yes, this has fragrance in it, but this is so fun. These also make great gifts, great stocking stuffers, or if you're just trying to get into K-Beauty and you don't know what's worth it for you, you can use this to test and try things out. This is a lightweight pomegranate moisturizer that, oh my gosh, especially for my oily skin during the summer, this is so good and it just smells delightful. This was another one of the first K-Beauty products I ever tried. And Frudia as a brand has so many cute, fun, and just delicious smelling things. Like they almost remind me of like the glow recipe of Korea. A lot of people say that the packaging is very similar to Dot and Key from India. So if you know anything about that, or if you know where I can get my hands on that, please let me know so I can buy it and try it and you don't have to. But Frudia basically has these little vegan honey pots and they're so cute and fun. I love the pomegranate one. I also love the grape one, but there's also like an apple and a citrus one, depending on what scent is right for you. Oh, the blueberry one is also really good. The ingredients in these are much more lightweight. The base is mainly glycerin, but it also has things like, of course, pomegranate, but also mango. It's just a really good lightweight gel moisturizer that for me and my oily skin is perfect for summer. It's just so much fun. I feel cute when I use these. I feel, I know kawaii is a Japanese word, but I feel kawaii desu when I have this on my face. Does anyone know what the Korean equivalent of kawaii desu would be? Please tell me so that I could be prepared. And when I go to Korea, I can try to learn the most essential word for when I am there. I'm so excited. And when it comes to blemish prone babes like myself, okay, look at these, look at these breakouts right now. K-Beauty doesn't always have the best options for acne prone skin. But if you know where to look, there are a couple of gems. And this is one of my favorite acne prone friendly K-Beauty options. Do you know what this is? Do you know what this little green package is? Oh yeah, it's the AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Cream. This is a moisturizer that is basically Korea's extra gentle version of the Ordinary's AHA BHA peel. This has AHAs and BHAs, but this also has PHAs, polyhydroxy acids. And if you're looking for like the Ordinary's peel without the intense peeling, if you're sensitive skinned or if you're just worried about trying the Ordinary's peel, this is a fantastic place to start. Even if you're just looking for exfoliation and you don't have acne, it's another good one, but it has a slightly green tint and it has centella at 70%. So it's really soothing to break out prone skin and that green tint can kind of help neutralize redness. I love this so much. The price is so good. And again, because K-Beauty is so hydrating and gentle, they don't normally have a ton of actives, but this from some by me, absolutely. And I would say this is some of the best I've ever gotten for like an acne prone routine from K-Beauty skincare. Not to mention it's dermatologist tested. Remember dermatologist tested is different than dermatologist approved, but I would not be surprised if this was both tested and approved by derms because this is so good. Let me know if you want an acne K-Beauty routine, by the way. I think we kind of need to jump on that. And babe, if you've been subscribed, then you're a skin intellectual and you know that none of these other K-Beauty products matter if you're not wearing sunscreen. And Stylevana sells three of my favorite, literally the three best K-Beauty sunscreens and probably the three best sunscreens I've ever used in general for way less than I can get them anywhere else. And these K-Beauty ones are even less expensive 
expensive than what I can get at Sephora. Now, all of these are chemical sunscreens. I feel like Korea does chemical sunscreens really well, but if you haven't heard of these, do you live under a rock? Like seriously, <laughs> these are some of the best. And you know we have to start off with my personal favorite. I think this is my favorite sunscreen of all time. The Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. This has eight different forms of hyaluronic acid. It's an SPF 50. This is one of the most lightweight, dewy sunscreens I've ever used that doesn't break out my acne prone skin and it doesn't make me look overly greasy or oily. As someone who has acne prone skin, I am so used to being like a legit straight up grease ball. <laughs> it's a struggle bus out here, but this protects my face. I've literally never burnt when using this and when reapplying it properly. And it has ingredients, even like niacinamide that are just so nourishing to the skin. It takes under 30 seconds to rub in completely and I can reapply this multiple times. It works like a primer. It works well under makeup. Like I don't know what kind of skincare crack cocaine they are putting in this ingredients list, but oh my gosh, is it worth it. And the best part is that, yeah, it's like $26. It's affordable, but you can get it even less on sale. And I usually can get this for like 15 to 18 bucks. This is one of my favorites and the hyaluronic acid in here binds to the other hydrating ingredients, pulling that moisture into the skin. Do you see how it gives me a dewy glow without being overly greasy? It is also so lightweight. I love this. Now coming in clutch and close second is the Beauty of Josen Rice and Probiotic Sunscreen. These are honestly so similar. People call them a dupe, but I do feel like they're a little different and I'm actually going to do a side-by-side -side test and show you my results, but holy if you wanna go Beauty of Josen instead of Isentree, this is not a bad choice. This rice and probiotic sunscreen is a little bit thicker than the Isentree, but it has those same effects of hydrating, leaving the skin silky smooth, being perfect for reapplication, perfect for use under makeup, or literally it smooths out the pores just the way that this one does so that I don't feel the need to wear makeup at all. I love this so, so much. The prices are very comparable. The ingredients are slightly different. This has probiotics and rice for more hydration and it is a little bit thicker. This one has fig and hyaluronic acid. It's more lightweight, but still gives you that dewy glow. So play around with them and see which one is right for you. Or let me know if you want me to test both of them side by side on my face and take you with me throughout the day. Maybe I should wear half and half on my face in Korea. That could be fun. But both of these are two of the best sunscreens I've ever, ever tried. So phenomenal. If you're someone who hates sunscreen, or if you know that one person, that family member, that person you're dating, that person that you wish you were dating, that one person you never f wear sunscreen, these are the sunscreens, babies. Now that being said, we can't forget about Skin1004. This is honestly so hard to choose a favorite out of these three. Korea makes the best sunscreens. I'm actually all out of this one, but this is the Centella Hylucica Water Fit Sun Cream SPF 50 PA++++. And if you are looking for a splish splash for your face, this is it. Such a lightweight, airy, watery sunscreen that provides hydration and nourishment and leaves your skin just feeling beautiful. I would say that both of these two leave my skin a little bit more dewy than this one. If you do want to look a little bit more normal skinned, I wouldn't say mattified, but closer to the matte side, go with this. The reason I love these is because it gives me that dewiness without the oiliness, but this one gives you the hydration and it still gives a little bit of a glow, but not as much as these two do. Skin1004 is so fantastic. Again, this has oils as well as water-based ingredients that just hydrate the skin and then lock in that moisture. Again, these are some of the best sunscreens I've ever used and if I tested a lot of sunscreens, but these are so good. Now I was trying to find like a mineral sunscreen that would be best under 30. It was hard to find one from K-Beauty that I love, 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 love that has zero white cast. There are also some sun sticks, literally the Isentree sun stick and the Beauty of Josen sun stick that I was considering putting in here as well. And then these, I want to include these, but I don't know if I'd say these are the best under 30 because these are both relatively new to me, but these are the ones that I am trying and testing out and putting to these stress test on my face because these are two other relatively new K-Beauty sunscreens that are blowing everything else out of the water. This one's from Haru Haru Wonder, the Black Rice Moisture Fit Daily Sunscreen. So good, so lightweight. They have a mineral version of this too. And then this one, if you want basic, this is your basic ass that still knows how to get to work. This is just pure Centella SPF 50. That's it. There's a little bit of lavender scent, so be careful if you are sensitive, but like, holy sh this is probably the fastest rubbing in sunscreen I've ever used. It tastes like four seconds. I think like four or six seconds total. Insane. I feel like we need to do an entire video of the best K-Beauty sunscreens, four different skin types. We have done those in the past and I literally can link those videos here and here, but let me know if you want an updated version for 2023, especially to see if I go to Korea and find something that's available there and not available here. Or if my preferences change after this trip, I'd literally love to see what I discover over there and 
if it knocks all of these out of the park or if these still stay strong as the best Korean skincare products under $30. I've listed them all below here. Again, a huge thanks to Stylevana for giving me the ability to shop my K-Beauty favorites at a discount. I've never found prices better than Stylevana on K-Beauty. Again, I gotta wait for the shipping, but it is worth the wait. I will literally sit there and track the days that my skincare is transversing the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> I literally track it across on my boat and sometimes it takes too long, but it is always worth it for the discounts, for the price, and for what they do to my skin. If you do want to come with me on my trip to Korea, I will be posting on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube. We actually have a very special little skincare cohort a little something something is happening and if you'd like to be the first to know about that can I everything up can I tell you a little secret that I'm not supposed to share with you I'm doing something very exciting with the potential to build you a skincare routine like literally come on a shopping trip with me I don't know if I'm allowed to say that but like maybe I'll post a teaser in the description go down there and find some hidden nuggets and um, maybe Cass Cass just things up because people are like she can't tell anyone it's a top secret project and I'm like your secrets. They're my secrets. Ah, everybody gets to know now. Anyways, so excited. Remember to stay hydrated both orally and topically. Check the description for some goodies as well as make sure that you're on the other socials so you don't miss it when they drop. And be a purple person, okay? Okay, I got it. Hell, if I launched a sunscreen, all of these are like pretty. They're like blue and white and like green. I need some purple sunscreens. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Anyways, love you. Stay hydrated both orally and topically. Reapply those sunscreens. Even if it's not a purple one, just choose one. They're all good here, okay? And always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you. I can't wait to see you. I hope I don't get in trouble for the description box. Oh well. Uh, can't wait to see you on the Instagrams and on the Tiki Talkies and the YouTube Shorts. And um, tag me with your style of Lana haul if you get something, okay? Okay. Love you guys. <sighs> Bye.